Grand Rising, everybody. Grand Rising. Welcome back to Mini Messages. Thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, and following me as well. I really appreciate that. This is going to be a general reading for my Taurus Nation. So if you are a Taurus or you have Taurus as your sun, moon, or rising, this is going to be the uh, reading that you want to tap on into, okay? Guys, please keep in mind that these are general messages. They may resonate a little bit completely or none at all. Take the things that resonate, ignore what does not. If anybody would like to uh, book a personal reading with me, you can do so by clicking the link on my page. Let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Spirit, what is the energy surrounding Taurus today? Show me clearly, please. Enlighten me on what you need Taurus to know, Spirit. What do they not see coming? What do they need to prepare themselves for? Thank you, Spirit. Spirit says there's no escaping fate. Okay? So somebody here is running from their fate and you can't escape it. Okay? I'm also hearing that there's somebody around here. You're running away from love. Like, you keep trying to run from it. Or something like that. But there's no escaping fate. For others of you, there's something in your life that you keep walking away from, that you keep on running away from, or something like that. Okay? But there's no escaping your fate. Okay? Spirit says it is what it is. You just got to accept what it is. And it is what it is. And you can't escape the truth. You can't escape your fate. You know? Can't escape the inevitable. Spirit, tell me more about the energy surrounding Taurus, please. Show me clearly what you need Taurus to know, Spirit. What do they not see coming? What do they need to know? Thank you, Spirit. So we have key. So a lot of you guys are getting ready to open doors to a better future here, okay? You guys are going to have access to the things that were hidden from you. You're going to find solutions to problems that you're having, and you're going to have access to doors that were previously closed to you. Now you have access. Y'all got the keys to the city, okay? <coughs> Ain't no escaping fate. You can't escape your destiny, all right? Somebody had to make a painful sacrifice uh, for something. There's some hard choices to prevail here. Life is really, really testing you right now, Taurus. Okay? Somebody's suffering to meet a goal here. Okay? but And, and you're starting to see that you're going to have to make some painful sacrifices so that you can reach this goal. Okay? And that's what I keep telling y'all. There's no escaping your fate. Okay? This is, this is the keys to your destiny here. So sometimes sacrifices have to be made. Spirit, tell me more about the energy surrounding Taurus. Sometimes you got to make sacrifices for the greater good, for the future. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, I told you, we have business here. Somebody here, this is either with your regular 9 to 5 or your entrepreneurship, okay? Somebody's made some career moves or you're getting ready to make some career moves. You guys are working on your career success and you're earning money through work, okay? That's why key is here, okay? There's a lot of doors getting ready to open up to you guys for a better future. A lot of you guys are entrepreneurs here and you guys are, some of you guys are getting, stepping into new careers that you never dealt with before, but you guys are going to have access to what's hidden from y'all. Okay, these doors that were closed to y'all at first, like, for example, somebody applied for a position uh, in a higher up, making more money, probably in another department or something like that. And you didn't get that job the last time that door was closed to you. Spirit is saying, if you haven't already applied again for that position, apply again because now this door is open for you and you're going to get the walk through it because you got the skeleton key, baby. For somebody else, you started a new business, okay? Or you were seriously considering starting a new business, but you've been afraid for some for some odd reason. Spirit is letting you know that it ain't no escaping your faith. This is your destiny, okay? You're going to fulfill your destiny whether you want to or not. You see, I can't make this shit up. You guys are going to get some good news here. What's going to be the good news? Somebody might have applied for a business loan, I'm hearing, to, to open up your business or to revamp your business or something like that. You're going to get some good news about that. You're going to get a phone call about that. Somebody on here that applied or reapplied for that position for a second time or maybe even a third time. What Spirit wants you to know is that you are going to get that position this time because those doors that were once closed, for you are now open for you. Spirit really wants you to know that. Okay? There's somebody here also that wants to communicate with you guys and Spirit is telling you 
to uh, be open to listening to what this person has to say. Clarify key spirit. Oh. Spirit, what else? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Piggy bank. Yeah. You guys are being very frugal right now. Somebody's saving their money for something for a later time. You're being very reserved right now. And you're doing everything that you can do to save your money, okay? This is how you guys are finding a solution to some type of problem in your life by saving your money, okay? That's what's going on right now. Clarify business spirit. Thank you. I'm also hearing that somebody needs to start saving money here. All right? Okay, guys. We have sword here. For somebody on here, you had a business partner. Or this was somebody that you were trying to go into business with. Okay? And there was some type of injustice that happened here. And there was a lot of conflict and aggression between the two of you. So you had to walk away from this person. And you had to set out on this business venture on your own by yourself. And that's what Spirit wanted you to do anyway. It ain't no escaping phase. Spirit says to let you know that you was not supposed to be doing business with this person in the first place. Okay? Your faith, your destiny is to run this business solo by yourself. Because you can't trust this person. Okay? You can't trust them. That person person could not be trusted okay this person's gossiping about you spreading rumors about you for some of y'all this was one of your friends that you were supposed to go into business with okay your secrets are not safe no more with this person okay this person sitting up sipping tea gossiping about you spreading rumors about you telling everybody all your business ideas and stuff like that all of your business secrets and shit like that because they hot and bothered because they didn't get to be a part of this shit okay for some of y'all this person is a scorpio that you was dealing with or doing this business with. This person wanted to control the whole entire shit, wanted you to do all the work while they control everything type of shit. This person just, y'all wasn't on the same page. So you had to go on ahead and walk away from this person and you had to go ahead and start this business by yourself, okay? And you do have doors opening up to you for a better future, okay? What was hidden from you at first is now going to be revealed, all right? You're going to get to this success just the same. Spirit, what else does Taurus need to know? Thank you. We have the sun in reverse. Yeah, this person caused some setbacks for some of y'all. This shady ass business partner. Okay, that caused a lot of setbacks. That caused a lot of delays with what was what y'all was trying to have going on with their self centeredness, their arrogance, and them being so damn selfish. That's the reason why you had to cut them off and cut out the injustice. That's, that's why sword is here. Okay, for some of y'all, this could have been a Gemini, maybe an Aquarius, maybe even a Libra, or for somebody, this could have been a Leo that, that you was dealing with these issues with. Okay, yeah, clarify the sun spirit in reverse. Why is the sun here in reverse? Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. Now, since you guys have cut out the bullshit with this bullshit person, now you guys are getting ready to have a bonus uh, material gain here, okay? And this is going to be an unexpected gain. This is going to be from you working um, and starting this business. People are going to be generous to your business. People are going to uh, contribute to your business and stuff like that. This is um, somebody's going to get inspired. Okay, you already did get inspired to start this business here. You're going to experience a whole lot of generosity. This could come in the form of money, but it can also come in the forms as a gift, okay? But just the same with the Six of Pentacles, this is the card. I call this the big trick card, okay? People are going to contribute to your business just the same. And you're still going to be successful without this person as your business partner. Spirit, tell me uh, what advice do you have today for Taurus? Thank you, Spirit. Healing. You've been through a difficult initiation which has prepared you for the role of a healer. Don't doubt your power. So somebody here... You got a business with helping people like with aromatherapy or some shit like that. They got to do with keeping people healthy or something like that. Spirit wants you to know that this spirit is, I mean, that this business is going to become very, very lucrative uh, here for you. Okay. And spirit also wants you to know that your, your ideas are divinely inspired. Okay. 
You guys, the inspiration is going to take you somewhere. Okay? Thank you guys so much for watching, Taurus. I hope everybody has a good afternoon. I shake.